let n be any natural number such that phi power n minus 1 is less than 3 power n plus 1. Then the least integer value that satisfies 3 power n plus 1 less than 2 power n plus m for each n. And so, so it's one of those beautiful questions. I got caught out by this. Beautiful because it looks severely algebraic. There's an n and an m and then there are powers and all that. Phi power n minus 1 less than 3 power n plus 1. And so, that's not algebraic at all. It's just numbers. Nothing more than that. What I'm going to do, let me say n equal to 1. I'm going to think about phi power n minus 1. I'm going to think about 3 power n plus 1. And so, phi power 0 is 1. 3 square is 9. I'm going to write powers of phi. 1, 5, 25, 125, 625 and so on. 9, 27, 81, 243, 729 and so on. 5 power n minus 1, 3 power n plus 1. Each term is the previous number into 5. Each one is previous number into 3. This starts off bigger than this. Somewhere this fellow is going to catch up. I'm multiplying by 5. I get bigger and bigger and bigger. Sooner than if this is multiplied by 3. This question hinges on where does this sequence overtake this sequence? That's it. That's a starting point. We grab onto that, we get through that much quicker. I put n equal to 1. Didn't work. This is lesser. Lesser, 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 lesser. But the moment we come here, you can even sense that this is going to work. 625, 729 is very close. I multiply this by 3. I don't even have to find the number. It is some 2187. I don't care. This is greater than this. n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. From 6 onwards, 5 power n minus 1 is greater than 3 power n plus 1. And so, so till 5, this holds good. 5 power n minus 1 less than 3 power n plus 1. n could be 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. One of these. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 all works. From 6 onwards, 5 power 4 is greater than 3 power 6. This fellow overtakes. We know that 5 power n minus 1 is less than 3 power n plus 1. n is 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. Now come to the second part. The least integer of m that satisfies 3 power n plus 1 less than 2 power n plus m. And nice. So, n could be 1, 3 square less than 2 power m plus 1. n could be 2, 3 cube less than 2 power m plus 2. We want to find the least integer value of m. That satisfies this. We have to find the least value of m here, 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 all the way till n equal to 6. 3 power 6 less than 2 power m plus 6. Okay. 3 square 9, 9 less than 2 power m plus 1, 9 less than 16. For this case, m is 3, 2 power 4. 3 cube is 27, this should be 32 m plus 2 is 32, m plus 2 is 5, m is 3. Straight away I sense that, look, I don't need to do every number. I go here and 3 power 6 is 3 square whole cube, 9 cube, 7, 29, less than 2 power 10, m plus 6 is 10, m is equal to 4. Somewhere it goes from 3 to 4, it is 3 or 4. I can I can kind of figure that out. I can guesstimate that because I'm going to have 3 power 4 less than 2 power m plus 2, 81. The next number is 128. 128 is sorry 3 power m plus 3. 128 is 2 power 7. M is 4. Right. So 3 power 6 is 729 less than 2 power 10. This is m plus sorry n plus m, m is 5, it should be m plus 5, it's not 4, m is 5. Sorry about that. So, the value of m that satisfies us for all the chain is the smallest possible value for everything should be at least 5. The answer, the least value m can take is 5.
it's a beautiful question because there is practically nothing that we solve algebraically in this question. We're not solving a quadratic, we're not solving a cubic, we're not solving some exponents and logarithm, fancy stuff, nothing. We basically look at this question and go, let me substitute lots of values, see where this falls in place. And beautiful question because of that. Hush.